Hi guys, it's Triple C. Today we'll be looking at the North Bay U AVA 1500 61P lightweight mobile card. Basically a TV stand that has wheels. So it turn your TV into a mobile TV basically that you can move around. Most of the time you see this kind of stuff in the offices or for presentation purposes. But I thought the way it looks might fit really well in the home settings. And uh, I'm also trying to uh, find a way to make more room in this place, which a standard TV stand or some kind of a table for it. While it is fine, but they had two problems. One of them is the TV is always too low under my eye level. And two, it's kind of hard to clean and it's kind of uses take out a lot of space. So I thought it's just a good way to clean things up, make up more space and then to make TV a little bit more adjustable. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into it. So it is a really big box. I waited a few days for it. Usually with the uh, local store, uh, online stores, that they will do same day shipping or the next day shipping. But for this one, it took a little while because it's too large doing the COVID-19 right now. Okay, so that's unboxing out of the way. Let's get into the installation. It's the first time I install something like this. So I will definitely need the instruction manual to see what it's all about. The instruction manual is pretty extensive. It tells you everything you need to know, step by step. So no, it's easy enough to figure it out. It's got two languages, English and Chinese. That'll do. Okay, so the first step is to put the wheels on. Straightforward enough, you just screw it in. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, let me tell you about this in a second. Okay, so what's happening here is those wheels. I'll just get to the other side quickly. Okay, so these wheels, normally this part turns, but then now if you lock it up, you also lock out the part that turns. So yeah, it's like a much easier way for you to do the installation as well. So when you lock the wheel, you will lock out the whole thing. That way you could just lock it up, turn the wheel and have it tighten up and then release it and it's good to go. That's pretty good. Okay, next up on the instruction is to put the support pin on. Looks pretty straightforward, just four screws. So uh, yeah, let's get to that. There we go. Just put it in. You don't got to worry about it. You'll keep balance for a while. And here are the screws for it. It gives you the uh, proper tools to put them on as well. So that's pretty good. Okay. Yeah, just tighten it up. Feel good with this part. So as you can see, there's still two more that goes to the bottom. 
So, uh, yeah. You can basically easily find the proper hole for the screw just by reaching over. It's, it's fine that way, or you can put it down to be properly seen. And now that's pretty sturdy, pretty good. No problem there. And here's the uh, cover. So if you don't want to see the screw to put this cover on, that's pretty thoughtful. All right. So uh, yeah, it's adjustable. It's pretty simple. You just push that bit in, you'll go. And then the very top, those holes are for the back plate of the TV mount, basically. Now, here's the tray. The tray could be used for various things. You can put your remote on it. In my case, I think I'm gonna put a Nintendo Switch on it. So, it needs to be assembled as well. The way it is assembled, just hook it up like that. And then, yeah, same thing to the other side. Something like that, and you just put it onto the beams. This is the way that you hook it up, just go sort of horizontal and it goes in. And it's got the dedicated screw for it, like so. It's a little bit difficult to do with just one person, two hands. So uh, yeah, just hold it tight and put one side on, and that will make it much easier to put the other side on once you're ready one side. Yeah, just hold it in place, it'll be fine. But just hook the other side on. The other side is already in place, so that makes the side much easier. Yeah, and the last step, tighten it up. It'll be fine. Pretty simple there. Doesn't need to be too tight, it is just a tray. And then it's adjustable, so yeah. Uh, here's the plate for you to hook the TV on, uh, the mount itself. So the way this works is it's got a long screw and the other side, it's got those uh, plastic standoff that will go onto the bin. Uh, to install it, just carefully put it in. The screws, it's long enough, so just go all the way in, okay? And then put the other two on. Just do it carefully, it's not gonna come out that easily because you're putting some weight on it so it's not gonna just slide out when you move it. Just have the screw over the hole. Okay, so you're gonna need to put the back plate and, and then screw it on, tighten it up, secure it, then yeah, this part will be done. Okay, so the TV part, well, this is the complicated part because every TV is different, but the gist of it, basically you're going to have a spacer that needs to go into the back of the TV, but every TV is different. So for my Samsung, it has its own dedicated standoff and yeah, that's what it looked like. And once you have it onto the plate, you need this piece to secure it so the TV won't fall off if you accidentally push it. To put this piece on, it's pretty straightforward to just screw it on. Same thing to the other side. Pretty good. Yeah, so that's that. The assembly is done. So the TV stand, it has a really nice little design that makes it much easier. For cable management, you just have your long cable go through those holes, come up on the bottom, you can go plug them in into the wall, you can plug other things in, keep the place clean. I think it's a really good design and it's very sturdy. You can move the TV around now, so depending on what you need to do, you can easily move it for your liking. Pretty easy, actually it's pretty quick too if you have the proper tools. So let's do a little bit comfortable, proper gaming with this. Now the TV is set to the eye level when I'm sitting on my chair, which is really good. 
Okay, so yeah, so that is the unboxing and the installation of the North Bayview ABA 1500-61T TV stand. Yeah, so I guess that will be all. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.